very pleasant good evening to you from St. Stephen's here in Austin, Texas. It's time for Southwest Preparatory Conference Girls Varsity Soccer Action between the St. Stephen's Spartans and the visiting Houston Christian Mustangs. Cameron Songer here with you on Vipe Live. As we get set to go, you just saw the coin toss and the captain's meeting uh, for the Spartans, the captain Delaney Post, and for the visiting Mustangs from Houston Christian, Caitlin Clark, Parker Dennis, and Hannah Nicholas representing their team as we get set to go on a chilly Friday evening. First of two here this evening. We'll have the girls game for you first and then the boys game following this one. Uh, kickoff was out expected about 7 p.m. Temperature outside about 50 degrees and dropping with the shadows creeping across the pitch. It should be a chilly evening. We hope you're warmer at home or wherever you're watching this than we are out, out here in the stadium. I want to give a big thank you to my QA, Rosie Vega, back at Mission Control here at Vipe Live, making sure we look and sound good for the start of tonight's broadcast. Should be a good one. Houston Christian undefeated in SPC play, 2-0 in the league, 8-3-1 overall. St. Stephen's trying to hand them that first league loss. And what should be a busy weekend for the visiting Mustangs. They have another game tomorrow, and so does St. Stephen's. That one also will be available right here for you on Vipe Live. Looking forward to a great weekend of soccer action. Getting the weekend started off right under the floodlights at St. Stephen's Episcopal School here in Austin. Spartans led by head coach Andres Aceves. Meanwhile, on the opposite sideline, head coach is Jermaine Hudson. The Mustangs from Houston Christian in blue and your Spartans in white here this evening. Coaches getting in there. Last bit of encouragement. As we'll see the starting 11s for both sides in just a moment. See the uh, Houston Christian boys team hanging out here on the bleachers in front of us, in front of the press box. St. Stephen's boys team, I think they're, they're staying warm. They're probably in the locker room. Maybe breaking down a little bit of extra film, uh, but they're 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 not out here. And uh, in terms of the exposure to the cold, I, I don't blame them. You, know, you could look at me and say, okay, well, 50 degrees, Cameron, it's not that cold. But what you have to remember is it's windy. It's been a, a real breeze, blowing across. It's blowing straight into the press box here. So as the uh, as the players are going, uh, well, for Houston Christian, it's blowing from. Uh, right to left as they line up, get ready to go from right to left. Looks like the Mustangs will start with possession. Emily McDowell set to kick this one off. At least as they're lined up right now. They should come out showing a 3-4-3 in front of goalkeeper Lana Raditz. Leading scorer for the Mustangs coming into tonight's game is senior captain Parker Dennis. Keep an eye on number 16 in blue. As the Spartans have taken the field, we are ready to go. The thing to keep an eye on here in the first 40 minutes is just how well can they settle in. Uh, a lot of the routine in terms of uh, number of games for the season has been disrupted because of uh, various cancellations and other things. And there's been some weather. So the question is, can you, can you settle in, find a rhythm, while also keeping in the back of your mind that you're also playing tomorrow? So you wonder how, how often you go to the bench, how much do you go to the bench, and how much do you trust some of your depth, as both of these teams will have uh, follow-up contests tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. A lot of these players will tell you, you know, it's no problem. I can go again. You know, heck, I could play two games. Probably what they, they'll tell you in one day, but it, it, it's a lot. It's it's a demanding uh, sport, and they're going to log a lot of mileage out there. And the the weather is not helping either. You know, in in Texas high school sports, you think about you know weather affecting your your sporting event and your. You, first thing that comes to my mind at least is football season and it starts out and, you know you get heat related cramps and you know it's so important to stay hydrated 
it, just because it's so cold doesn't mean you can't have issues either. And you know, a lot of the, the same things are, are in effect, and the athletic trainers will make sure players are remain hydrated, remain loose, remain stretched out, uh, because those those cramps and pulled muscles can really strike at an inopportune time. You would not want to see that here tonight in an important league game. figure out what the delay is for now. It looks like both teams are ready to go. I don't see any officials out there, though. That's That could be what the, the issue is now, is that uh, we're waiting for the officiating crew. That looks like we have the uh, head referee and the game ball coming out. So I think we should be getting started here now. Forty minutes on the clock for the first half. We should get this thing started now. Mustangs in blue going from right to left. And the Spartans in white. And we are underway for some Friday night girls soccer action. Mustangs can't keep the early possession. See if you can finally can control the loose ball. Looks like that took a touch there off Houston Christian, but they keep possession for a moment, and then finally St. Stephen's able to settle. Up the far sideline it goes. Comes all the way back to Alicia Wu, who sends it forward for the Mustangs, all the way into the box, and no one there to get it in a blue jersey, and scooping it up for St. Stephen's is the goalkeeper, Nora Fellner. Fellner boots it back towards midfield. They play it into the middle with Caitlin Clark. one went out. It'll be a throw in for Houston Christian. Into a double team, trying to bounce it out towards Clark. Clark might have gotten a touch to it. And sent forward. We've played 90 seconds so far. And that's out of play again. Long throw in, nobody home. Scooped up by Fellner. I think they try the near side. This game's been played on the far side for the first few seconds. Fellner's boot headed away by Wu. Trying to connect there with Nicholas. And it bounces free. Chance in the box. Trying to sneak that in near post. Nothing doing for Parker Dennis. And it's a goal kick to come. Aggressive early take from the leading scorer for Houston Christian. Ooh, line drive kick out towards the far side. Spartans just trying to possess the ball a little bit. And they will get the throw in here. Going out. Shana Schechter throws this back into play for us. And cleared back by Sam Moreau of Houston Christian. Racing up the far sideline, a chance here for St. Stephens. 
Looking for a cut in, into the box, cleared away again. So first real attacking opportunity for St. Stephen's. Comes with empty, but here's another chance off a good move. Into the box looking for a good touch, but the double team arrives. And this will be a Houston Christian throw in. Another long throw over the head of the attacking players. Nichols with a nice touch. Back pass. Potential trouble here for St. Stephen's. They try to clear their line. Who touched that last? Maddie Melton, the freshman Mustang forward, was giving chase. And this will be a throw in to the Spartans. Almost five minutes gone here in the first half. Still no score. That ball bounced all the way to the very corner of the stadium. Chased down by, looks like Megan Canfield. And she puts it back into play. Check that that was uh, eight uh, Cordero for Houston, or for St. Stephen's, excuse me. The box. Trying to keep it in. Houston Christian would love to keep the ball in this third. They only cut off any attacking possibilities for the Spartans, but they've lost possession. They win it right back in the midfield. Caitlin Clark with it. This one is sent out of play. Alyssa Myers throwing in for the Mustangs. They're taking aggressive throws, basically throwing it towards their forwards. Off the head of Hannah Nicholas into the box. Goes out of play, last touch. By Houston Christian, it will be a goal kick. St. Stevens will throw in from right in front of their bench. They take it quickly. to draw the Mustangs forward a little bit with the back pass. Now a long forward pass up near midfield. Well defended in the middle by Houston Christian. Now they try to possess it for a moment. Good extra pass. Long shot. And it's just wide. Wow. Bought a ticket there. Hannah Nicholas just let fly. Check it, that was Gentry Grenier. But it comes up empty, 32-23 left to play in the first half, and we're still scoreless. That was nearly a very impressive goal for the visiting Mustangs. Took a nick off a Mustang player, so St. Stephen's gets a throw in from uh, the right side of the field. They haven't really been on the attacking half much, now trying to play it forward again. Nobody on the end of that ball. So the Mustangs try to clear their line. It's just cleared away by Muro. Now a throw in in a potentially dangerous spot for the Spartans. Thirty-one forty-five still showing in the first half game clock. A lot of soccer still to play. And a chance here for St. Stephen's to get it into the box and maybe make something happen. Headed across, coming out off her line, scooped up there by Raditz. It's picked right back up by St. Stevens, but they can't make anything happen with it. 
Good pressure shown by the Mustangs for a Spartan throw in. Stevens on the attack. Trying to come up with a cross here. Well defended again by Sam Muro, the sophomore in blue. And taking the throw in again will be Cordero for the Spartans. Chooses to go back with it. Looking for the return pass. This one last touched by St. Stephen's. Just can't find that extra connecting pass. The play in the midfield has been there. You're just hoping to see for St. Stephen's is oh, one more extra pass. Get it in a real dangerous attacking spot. Good pressure in the attempted clearance. Houston Christian has to just send this back away from danger. And this will be a Spartan throw in very near that corner flag as we've reached 10 minutes into this first half. Box. Chance. Uh, scooped up. Handled easily that time by Raditz. But a shot on goal there for St. Stephen's. You always like to see that. Another attacking chance stymied. Spartans looking for another attacking angle. Keep it off the end line. Radatz does just that. Twelfth minute of play now. throw into the Mustangs after an unsettled sequence for both teams. Good run. This will be our first corner kick of the evening. Cordero sends it in low to the near post, cleared away. And this will be a throw in near that corner flag. Tell you what, after the first five or so minutes, would have said it was Houston Christian really on the front foot. Since then, though, the, the Spartans have settled in nicely, starting to really keep the ball out of their uh, defending third, and that's always a good sign. Run of plays would go in this way. That one went off the side of the foot there. Miss hit by Cordero will be a goal kick. Cordero read that nicely, trying to get control of it. Can't do it. Nicholas trying to win possession for Houston Christian. She does. Hannah Nicholas showing off a skill move, but loses possession. Long ball. Three on one. This ends up with the blue jerseys, though, for a second. Uh, 
Very nice defense from St. Stephen's there. Winning a throw in. Cordero calling for it, says, I'll take that. Brody Rodemacher, sophomore there, earning her team possession back. Trying to change sides of the field and a breakaway chance. Shot. Finds the back of the net. It's a goal for St. Stephen's. Twenty-five thirty to go in the first half. St. Stephen's won Houston Christian nothing. See how the Mustangs are able to respond after that. Conceding first, so they'll be playing from behind. The Spartans with a nice touch. Parham. Cordero, the shot on target. Right at Raditz, who does a nice job to handle it after she was beaten just a moment ago. Almost had the quick one-two punch for St. Stephen's. Mustangs now looking to counter. Couldn't connect on that pass. Out for a Spartan throw in. Kept in there. Only for it to end up with Houston Christian. Sent out. And Spartans have advanced the ball upfield now. Cordero trotting along the near sideline. She'll throw it in again. Parham hanging out in front. See if they look to her. Stout defense there from the Mustangs. Try to set something up in the box, perhaps. Swarming defense from Houston Christian as they clear their lines. Well defended by St. Stephen's. Got the one goal lead. And at least on that sequence, it won't be cut into. Parham throwing in from the far side. kept in. Houston Christian just can't seem to get that connecting pass from the midfield up to their forwards. Looks like we'll have a change as Houston Christian will make a substitution. Alyssa Myers goes to the sideline. 22 minutes left in the first half. St. Stephen's goal, if you missed it, came with 25-30 left in the half. So just the 15th minute of play. The Spartans earned themselves the lead. Cross towards goal, and it sails wide of the near post. took a 
touch. Mustang's trying to make something happen here. Rolling it out wide, but it's tracked down by St. Stephen's. Goes out of play for a Spartan throw in, but deep in their own territory. See, the Mustang players are all pressed up right now. Even Houston Christian's back defender is still on this side of midfield. Trying to clear it out of the box. Trouble. And that looked like that was, oh, no, it wasn't saved. It sent wide, or sailed wide anyway. But Fellner had that near post well covered. Trying to beat her near post and I just couldn't even keep it in. So goal kick gets us back underway. Possession lost. And it's a corner kick coming up for Houston Christian. Emily McDowell will take the corner opportunity for the Mustangs. The first corner of the game for Houston Christian. St. Stephen's has one so far. As we're more than halfway through the first half now. McDowell's service into the box, tipped around right in front, and couldn't find the finishing touch. Last touch by St. Stephen's. It will be another corner. Let's see if they look for number 22, Hannah Nicholas, again. One of the taller players out there. In towards the box. Headed into the air. Still a problem. They're out in front. And the Mustangs just couldn't find that finishing touch again. Stevens trying to get it out. And there's a good clearance. That comes out. She sends this long. And now a chance for Houston Christian. Into the box. The shot finds the back of the net, and we're level. I believe that was... Parker Dennis, if I'm not mistaken, but credit the assist there to the goalkeeper, Lana Radatz. You don't see that every day. Uh, goalie loves to pick up an assist, though. So the St. Stephen's lead is short-lived. They held the lead for all of about seven and a half minutes. And with 18 minutes to play until halftime, we're back even. A fantastic equalizer. It came off of St. Stephen's having trouble clearing their lines. They did send it long, but the keeper came all the way outside the box, booted it back in towards the danger zone, and the Mustangs were able to finish it off. So now the Spartans have to lick their wounds and try to respond after giving up a goal. Mustang's not making it easy on them. Set back towards the goal. Off the right foot of Paige Singer. Took a crack at it from what ended up being a long way out. Another goal kick. Thirty to go in the first half here on Vipe Live. 1-1 our score. Cameron Songer here with you. 
And throwing it in for Houston Christian is Maddie Pickett. And it looks like she'll get another chance to do just that. Until her teammates took the ball away from her, said, actually, no. Gentry Grenier. Good touch on that throw. Nice first touch into the box. Still a problem. High shot, looped in. Across goal. And it squirts past the keeper for a Houston Christian goal. Mustangs with two quick ones. And Houston Christian is in front. Again, hard to tell who touched that in. But back-to-back -back quick goals for Houston Christian. With 15-12 to go in the first half, it's now 2-1 to the visitors. How about that? We had 15 minutes of scoreless action. St. Stephen's led for about seven minutes. We were tied for less than three minutes. Now the first lead of the contest for the visiting Mustangs. Let's see if the Spartans can settle back down, create some offensive chances. Lost possession there on the far side. Upfield for Houston Christian, out of play. Mustangs throw in. St. Stevens looking for a long ball forward. Sprint to the ball. Redats able to. Boy, that was dangerous for Houston Christian. Ball came out of play, and it does set up a St. Stephen's corner kick with 13.30 to go in the first half. Very Cordero, set piece specialist for the Spartans. And they're all lined up outside the box, coming in on this touch. Kept out of the box. Now a long shot. Keeper had it read all the way. Trying to counter quickly. Houston Christian can't connect with the pass. Spartans win it. Good job by Canfield to keep that in play. And out for St. Stephen's throw. Twelve and a half minutes until halftime. there on the end of that pass, but the Spartans just have to clear their lines. Alicia Wu will throw in for the Mustangs. Goes short with the throw in, and gets it back. Tries to serve it in towards an attacking area. Problem not dealt with yet. Last touched by Houston Christian for a goal kick.
effort towards goal. Not enough oomph on it. Picked up by Fellner. Just tries to settle her team down a little bit as she sends it forward. Long ball forward. No one on the receiving end. Nicholas winning possession. Crossed in towards the center. Still in a dangerous area. Climbing the ladder. Nice save for Fellner on that one. That was a bold attempt, but it almost worked out. Seemed to be destined for the back of the net and would have really put the Spartans in a hole. Touch goes out of play. Mustang throw in with 9.30 to play in the half. If you're just joining us, St. Stephen scored first in the 15th minute, but then a 1 2 punch from Houston Christian in the 22nd and 25th minutes. The second one. Uh, a frustrating one to concede if you're a, a St. Stephen's fan. It looked like Fellner got a pretty good piece of it, but it just did uh, sneak by her at the last second. Good throw in towards the far corner. And St. Stephen's will just let it roll all the way out for a goal kick. Remember to stay tuned after this one. Boys game kicking off at about 7 o'clock. Same stream. You don't need to change your settings at all. We'll probably just lock the camera down as the boys team warms up and keep the broadcast alive so you can keep the action rolling. This is a problem for St. Stephen's. But it's dealt with. I thought that might have been last touched by a, a, a player wearing a white shirt, but it wasn't. And it's another goal kick. Since that uh, last Houston Christian goal in the, about seven or eight minutes ago, it really seems like the, the run of play has been favoring Houston Christian as they'll make another change. Melissa Myers comes on, and Hannah Nicholas goes to the bench for the visiting Mustangs. Loose ball. Spartans clear it. Out of play to Houston Christian. Wu throwing in from midfield. Keeps it in play. Trying to win it is Fink. Taking on a couple blue jerseys there, and she won possession for just a moment. Ball all the way to the far wing. Racing for it. No one gets to it before it rolls out. Throw in for the hosts. Crossing opportunities for the Mustangs. In towards the box. Near the end line. Goes out for a goal kick. Looked like Parker Dennis ended up on the turf there, helped up by a teammate. She was thinking, hey, you know, I got in the box. Could maybe try to draw uh, a penalty. The referee was not having it. We'll see a pair of changes now for St. Stephen's. Bradley Parham rejoining the action for the Spartans. Taking one of the forward spots on the near side. Let's see if they connect with her here. Stout defending. Comes to the near side where the Spartans are just going to play possession for a moment with it. turn there in the midfield. Nothing comes of it. It's 
Far side. A little bit too much weight on that pass, looking for Zoe Schaefer. Five and a half minutes until halftime. Visiting Mustangs with the 2-1 advantage. As the shadows have engulfed the field here now, floodlight starting to take over. Beautiful sunset in the Austin area this evening. But of course it's behind us. A crisp winter evening. Danger for St. Stephen's, but a nice job to shake that initial pressure, but they've taken it away into the box on the turn. Contact in the box, and no call made, and St. Stephen's can clear their lines. On the counterattack chance now. Still for St. Stephen's, something might be there. Really tough defense. That was Muro denying the attacking opportunity. Ball given away in the midfield. St. Stephen's on the far side, a good move. Sent out. And this will be a Spartan throw in with 4.18 to play in the half and they take it quickly. Crossed in, headed away. Bouncing chance for St. Stephen's. Heavy on the pass, picked off by the keeper. We're seeing some more end-to-end -end action here late in the first half. I think both teams know that there's that intermission, a chance to catch their breath soon. And also knowing how important uh, this next goal could be here right before half. Chance to chase one down on the far side. Muro beats her to it and sends it out into touch. Three and a half to play in the first half. This will be Phoebe George to throw it in for St. Stephen's. Can she make something happen off the throw? Not there on the initial clearance. And it goes over the end line for a goal kick. After three minutes to go in the first half, and it's been about 12 minutes since that last uh, Mustang goal. Persistence. Not really paying off that time for St. Stephen's, but you like the idea just to not give up the free clearance. You go box to box with this. Good turn. Now the lofted through ball. Cleared away by Maddie Melton, the freshman. Does set up a St. Stephen's throw in. Schechter will resume the play for us. Gets into the box. Touch. And another throw in. It looks like that uh, went right at the ref. Melton clearly apologizing for that. Clock is stopped here with two minutes left in the half. So we'll see if they keep the uh, time down there on the field. This will be a goal kick. Touch up the far sideline. Right well well St. 
Stevens. Crossing opportunities there. Tight defense. They set it back up again. Switching fields with it. Chance here for Parham. Parham into the box, gets double teamed. Ball goes over the end line. It's a corner kick. Nifty run from junior Bradley Parham. St. Stevens looking at that and has a chance to equalize before half. Left footed swing here from Weatherspoon. That finds the net. We're level. What a cross. Weatherspoon with the excellent delivery. How about that? Right before half. St. Stevens will send us to half, presumably level here at two apiece. That is the end of the first half. St. Stephen's getting that equalizing goal right as time expires in the first half. And we've reached halftime of this contest. 2-2 two -two is our score. We should have a really thrilling finish for you coming up. Take a quick break, and we'll bring you more SPC girls soccer action coming up in just a little bit here on Vipe Live.
Cameron Songer back here with you on Vipe Live. Rosie Bega, my QA, back at Mission Control. Hope you enjoyed that break because you're not going to want to step away from the screen you're watching this on. If the second half is anything like that first half, anything can happen, and it happens pretty quick. 2-2 yeah, two -two is our score here at the break. St. Stephen's bookended the scoring with, uh, with goals, meaning the Houston Christian goals came in the middle. St. Stephen's in the... 16th minute, Houston Christian in the 21st minute, then Houston Christian again just two minutes later, and then St. Stephen's in uh, in extra time, stoppage time of the uh, of the first half. Some uh, some grumbles from some of the uh, Houston Christian parents who who made the trip and are uh, sitting in front of the press box. But the fact of the matter is the you know, the way they do the clock here in SPC soccer says. Yeah, you, you do those last couple minutes with uh, with some stoppage time. And as so we get the second half started, not even uh, a clock that's functioning right now. So we'll see that get that fixed uh, so we can keep you up to date on how much time is left in this game. How about this, though? Since I caught that, I'll just go ahead and keep a, uh, keep a clock right here. Off by a couple seconds, but I'll be able to tell you roughly how much time we have left in this game. As that pass misses its target there for St. Stephen's. I think uh, Zoe Schaefer thought that had been touched, but it wasn't. Looks like they're resetting the scoreboard now, so no, don't even have our score. It is 2-2. Just got started here in the second half. Pan the camera over, you'll see the uh, the scoreboard being off. But Houston Christian trying to get the scoring started here in the second half with possession. Long attempt and bounces comfortably into the lap of Nora Fellner. First minute in the books here in the second half. 2-2 two -two our score. Goes out of play right between the team benches for a Spartan throw-in. Quick initial touch. Cordero keeps it alive. Into the middle. Good touch from Schaefer. Gets run down. And the Mustangs couldn't connect on a pass to clear it. It's still in a troublesome spot for... Houston Christian as the Spartans get ready to throw it back into play. Towards the corner it goes. Who touched it last? It bounced off the corner flag. Spartans will throw in. Leaving a little defensive pressure. Perhaps trying to extend that defense a little bit. Open up some passing angles. Spartans take it back to their own half for a few seconds. Long ball for the Mustangs with no one on the other end of it. Stevens just right now trying to get the ball out of their own half. Nicholas from a long way out. And it's again scooped up by Fellner. About four minutes into this second half. We're still tied at two. 
Mustangs trying to change that off some nice touches. Dennis puts it on goal, but a diving stop. Nora Fellner. Mustangs trying to keep possession through some tight defensive pressure. And it's taken away. Well played by Schaefer. Now trying to clear it up the sideline. This is Schechter. Lost possession. And it's out for a Spartan throw in. Schechter throws it in. And now the Mustangs will have the throw in. Grenier to trigger. Right towards a white shirt. Crossed in towards the box. And the keeper's got it. That's the keeper's ball all the way. More attacking play, though, from Houston Christian here in the first few minutes of the second half. That one skewed off the side of the foot, it looked like. But no damage done. St. Stephen's trying to get into the attacking third. Changing gears, no. And it's a Mustang throw. Still about 34 minutes to play here. Contact in the box. Officials letting them play. Who touched that last? Last touched by Grenier in blue. Uh-oh. Lost her footing. Nicholas able to get it in towards the box. Shot. What a stop. My goodness. Nora Fellner just saved a goal for St. Stephen's. That was a gilded opportunity for the Mustangs. And they could not take advantage. Boy, mark that one down. About seven minutes into this second half, and the Spartans are very lucky to still be even. Can they take advantage of that opportunity now? Sending it towards the box. And Radatz gets her name called for the first time here in the second half. The Houston Christian goalkeeper has not had to be very involved. Mustangs trying to transition from one side to the other quickly. That one sent out. Throw in. We'll stay on this attacking third. Now it looks like the Mustangs will make a substitution. Didn't get a peek at the numbers there, I'm sorry. In a dangerous spot. Put in towards the goal. And that was saved. It will be a, a th corner kick for Houston Christian now. Looks like McDowell will put it in. Good service. Chance to clear. Nicholas got to it first. Now the Spartans can clear this, and they do. Drops back. Good service. Good find. Very nice defending. Clutch tackle. Still a chance. Deflected in front of goal. And cleared away. 
And what St. Stephen's has been flirting with disaster here in this second half. We've played about nine minutes of the second period. Still tied at two, just like we entered halftime. So the St. Stephen's throw. I think there was a, a complaint there from Houston Christian that maybe they picked the ball up before it actually had gone into touch. Something to complain about later. There's a chance now for the Mustangs. Put in towards goal. Keeper able to stick a fork in it again. Nora Fellner has been busy in this second half. She has kept her team in this. Imploring her. Team, give me a break a little bit. Let me catch my breath. Ball looking for Dennis. Couldn't connect with the captain. See if they give her another chance. Sent out for Myers. This will be a Spartan throw taken quickly. To the feet of Myers. Spartans just cannot get it out of that defensive third right now. Another Houston Christian throw in upcoming. Crenier will take it as we played about 11 minutes here in the second half. Still tied at two. Looking for Dennis in the box. Couldn't connect with her, but it's a corner kick coming up. Corner kick. Over everyone. St. Stevens watches it roll out of play. For a throw. Strong throw, cleared out. Gives the Spartans a little bit more breathing room. Schechter will throw it in. Nifty clearance. That at least flips the field here for St. Stephen's. If they can turn on the pressure on this half of the field and maybe win the ball back, get themselves an attacking opportunity. Right now, it's been the Mustangs on the front foot here in this second half. As we saw in the first half, though, that can change in a heartbeat. Cordero throws in for the Spartans. Gets it back. Trying to keep possession. Spartans are able to do so. Too strong on the pass. Saw what the Spartans were trying to do there. Just trying to switch fields. Give the Mustang, something else to look at. Grenier, a mighty throw in. Mistouched initially and then s just cleared out. Another throw for the Mustangs. You can see the scoreboard in the stadium not working right now. It is still 2-2. I'm confident of that. Trying to keep time up here for you as well. According to my count, we've played about 14 minutes here in the second half out of 40. 
plus stoppage. Good throw. Nicholas. That's right in front. And again, it's Fellner coming to the rescue. Got her hand on that. Swung towards it and couldn't connect. So it's a handball call. We've not had, I don't think, any free kicks <laughs> in that entire first half. What a very clean game so far. Trying to figure out where this should be spotted. And we're back underway. Heavy touch taken away. Looks like the Spartans will make a substitution now. touch into that attacking area looking for that killer pass goes out corner kick up coming for St. Stevens really this has been their best chance of the second half thus far Right-footed swing coming in. Towards the front of the box. Still a problem. Good cross towards the near side. That's in. Nobody on the receiving end. Doesn't matter. It's a goal for St. Stevens. And they are fired up now. Back in front go the Spartans. I thought that was just a you know, run-of-the-mill cross. From this angle, it just looked like that was the, the, the play for uh, Cordero. A very Cordero just uh, found the back of the net instead. Thank you very much. So the 56th minute. A goal for St. Stevens, and they're back in front 3-2. Back and forth, this one's gone. After St. Stephen's scored first, there were back-to-back -back Mustang goals. Looked like we were going to head to halftime at 2-1 Houston Christian, but right at the uh, additional time, right at the end of the additional time, St. Stephen's was able to equalize. And we played almost 17 minutes of scoreless soccer to start the second half, and then St. Stephen's did finally find the back of the net there. Kind of against the run of play. Stevens trying to clear their lines there defensively after an aggressive take towards goal for Parker Dennis. Tell you what, the Spartans would feel really good about the defensive effort. This is a, a Mustang team coming in. Very capable of scoring goals. 45 goals in the first 12 matches for the visitors from Houston Christian. And so far, just two. So, you know, in that first half, you could say, okay, they're, you know, they're on pace. Score about four a game. But think about, you know, a pace or an, an average. Yet they still have to go get them in the second half. It felt like they were going to get one a couple different times. But give a, a huge tip of the cap to Nora Fellner in between the sticks for... Uh, the Spartans. She's 
kept it even for long enough for her team to push one across. There's a nice play by Cordero to keep that one alive. Now she wants it back on a through ball. Doesn't get it, but Schaefer with some momentum moving forward. It goes out for a Spartan throw in. So we approach the midway point of the second half. 3-2 St. Stephens. Looking to add to it here. If they can get a good service in towards the box. Cross is on. It was deflected. And this will be a corner kick. Neither team has held a two-goal lead in this one yet. 3-2 the current score line. Trying to use that set piece to add an insurance goal for St. Stephen's. Left-footed approach coming up. Spartans mostly lined up at the edge of the box. Swung in nicely, in front of goal, bouncing around. Keepers come out, this is an, a free shot. If they can get one towards, no, oh. Almost mishandled there by Radatz. But the Houston Christian keeper able to finally corral it, and then she boots it up the field to a waiting Spartan midfielder. Oh, great touch, shot. Scooped up, diving stop. Boy, if that had a little bit more mustard on it, that's in the back of the net. Potential missed opportunity, but St. Stevens can't be thinking about that now. Just keep pressing forward. They played some really nice attacking ball in the last few minutes. Another good touch. Fighting for it was Weatherspoon. That rolls out. It's near the corner and say throw in for Houston Christian. More than halfway through this second half, we've played about 22 minutes in the second half out of the 40. Remember to stay tuned for the boys game, starts at about seven. Throw in. This nice back line defense from St. Stephen's there and a good ball up the far sideline. Keeping it down. Support comes. And that time the clutch defense from Houston Christian, but the pressure stays on. Pass just off target. Mustang throw in coming up. Scrum, and St. Stephen emerges with it. Shot on target. Saved. Couldn't get the right spin on that. Ball bounces nicely for Houston Christian. Can they make something happen? Cannot. Kept in up the sideline. Pass intercepted nicely.
Making use of the substitutes bench, St. Stevens also using a little bit of clock as well. Who touched that last? This will be a corner. So down by a goal, corner kick chance for Houston Christian. They take it quickly. Bounces away from where St. Stephen's wanted it. Chance for Houston Christian to make something happen. Nicholas on the half turn, fires it in, deflected. And that was last touch by Houston Christian. Break there for the Spartans. Played 25 minutes now, plus some change in the second half. So we're into the final 15 of this. Nifty footwork, tried to complete a pass to move the ball upfield, couldn't do it. And then it trickles out of bounds for a Mustang throw in. They go quickly with it. Dennis got a touch on it, cleared away by St. Stevens. See a white jersey is just swarming in towards their own box trying to defend this one goal lead. Grenier puts it back into playoff throw in. Cleared away back. Nicholas trying to get to it. Nice clearance again. Central defense key for St. Stevens. I believe that was Phoebe George clearing the lines for the Spartans. And if this is how the last 15 minutes are going to play out, it's edge of your seat kind of action as Houston Christian just trying to get one back to get that equalizer. And it's just been so hard for the Spartans to clear their lines. This is in trouble. And another save. Fellner again sailing to her right. Protecting the goal, protecting the one goal lead. Trying to hand Houston Christian their first loss in Southwest Preparatory Conference play. There's a good Mustang team at 8 3 and 1 with a 2 0 league record. It's felt like they've had a few more scoring chances in this one, just have not been able to capitalize at the same rate. St. Stevens got to feel a little lucky to have the 3-2 lead. This one could, could have gone the other way so far, but this one has not been decided by any means. The way the action has been going back and forth, this could still go either way. Nice read defensively from the Mustangs. Out of position, though. Trying to settle it back in. Slow roller, easy pickings for the goalkeeper that time. <laughs> Sent out, gives a chance to just relieve some of that pressure.
throw in for Houston Christian as we approach the final 10 minutes of this game. Another clearance from St. Stephen's. That time Kendall Dow just trying to keep this one out of the danger zone. She'd get a little tempted ahead of there. And man, if you, if you ask me, it's just a little too early if St. Stephen's is trying to park the bus right now. Just have a, a lot of time left to kill. Shot attempt sailing wide and St. Stephen's gets the goal kick and a chance to relieve some more pressure. We're 30 minutes into this second half. Just the one goal separating the two teams. It was 2-2 at halftime. A 56th minute goal for St. Stephen's. Stands as the difference right now. to see St. Stephen's there trying to pass the ball upfield instead of just immediately booting it out. Throw in for Hannah Nicholas. The Mustangs doesn't turn into anything yet, but they do still have the ball. Physical battle for the ball there. Won by Houston Christian as they try to advance up the field. Off her line. It's Fellner again to the rescue. Ooh, tripped up. There's a foul against Houston Christian. But you see the sportsmanship there, helping her right back up. And it was Leighton who was a little late on that challenge. And now on this dead ball, the Spartans will make a change. Janaya Chavez Moreno heads to the bench. Put in a good shift there for St. Stephen's. Free kick now, and you know St. Stephen's not in a hurry to take it. Oh, that found the perfect spot, but a nice bit of defense at the last second kept that from being a real scoring threat for Weatherspoon. Ball tracked back down by St. Stephen's, but Nicholas had it read the whole way. Got a whistle and a foul against St. Stephen's. Pushing forward, trying to get that equalizer inside the last seven minutes. Swung in towards the box. Still danger. Rolls all the way through to the keeper, and that's an easier bit of work. Seen some really impressive stuff from Fellner in goal this evening, especially in the second half. You were putting together a compilation that probably doesn't make the highlight reel, but it's still important. Commanding goalkeeping. Can St. Stephen's find this one? It bounces out. Whose ball is it? It's a Spartan throw in. In the attacking third.
Chance here for St. Stephen's. Can they get that insurance goal? Well defended by Houston Christian. Couldn't clear their lines from outside the box. Tripped up. That's a that's going to be a a whistle and a foul called. Free kick coming up from a dangerous spot. Foul committed just outside the box. And let's see what kind of set piece St. Stephen's has up their sleeve. Under five minutes to go in the second half. One goal advantage for the Spartans. And if they can make this work, they can put this game away. The set piece specialist is Cordero. Will she be the one to take it? Yes, here it comes. It's in there. Goal for St. Stephen's. It's Cordero again and a two-goal lead for St. Stephen's. That could be it. Make it 4-2 Spartans. We've played more than 35 minutes here in the second half. Both of the second half goals from Cordero for St. Stephen's. Whistle, or we'll stop play here, and it looks like the Houston Christian keeper is in need of a little bit of attention, maybe get stretched out while we Well, we have a, a moment here. We do want to thank our sponsor for tonight's game, Academy Sports and Outdoors. Thank you for your support of all of our coverage of Texas high school sports on Vipe Live. It's a new year, and Academy Sports and Outdoors has everything you need to have your best year yet. Stop by your Academy, your local Academy store today and, or shop online at academy.com and get football, baseball, and other sports gear like helmets, bats, gloves, and cleats. It is almost baseball season. It's never been easier to get back to sports than with our wide selection of gear, great brands, and highly competitive prices. Academy makes shopping convenient with curbside and in-store pickup available for online orders. And Academy, if you didn't know, carries the hottest brands in apparel and footwear like Nike, Adidas, Champion, Under Armour, Vans, New Balance, and Fila. Get ready for your best season yet with new football cleats, soccer balls, baseball bats, golf clubs, and basketball rims. They got rims. Get in the game with volleyball and other cheer essentials. They also have stylish gear, trendy animal print and tie-dye tie gear. And, uh, you know, no one does fleece like Academy. Today's a good day to be uh, wearing a fleece. I'm glad I have one up here in the box. As it looks like the, uh, the injury to Redats was severe enough that she's come out of the game. Houston Christian's gone with uh, the backup goalkeeper. Trying to get her suit up. We'll try to get an ID on who that is. Thought that might have been 14 Alyssa Myers, but not 100% sure. So after that stoppage, Injury timeout. We'll see how the uh, officials can manage the clock now, but Houston Christian really has to be, you know, full DEFCON attacking mode right now. They don't have time to mess around. They don't have too many possessions to waste. Trailing four goals to two. The Spartans can put one on goal against the backup keeper. The challenge there by Calouette sent it out for a Spartan throw in. And as that goes out, St. Stevens will take the time to make another change. Megan Canfield goes to the bench. So Schaefer puts it into play. 
Nice touch up the sideline for Weatherspoon. Can she keep it in? She did, and then it goes out for a throw-in just on the wrong side of the flag if you're a St. Stephen's fan. So a throw-in from a potentially dangerous spot. Houston Christian already in a two-goal deficit. They, they concede one here. It's, it's all over. Houston Christian also facing the fact that they don't have their first choice keeper in the uh, in goal right now. Lana Radatz over there getting checked out by the training staff. Hope she's all right because they have another game tomorrow, just like St. Stephen's does. Busy weekend in SPC girls soccer. Anyway, if you're making the trip from Houston up to Austin, you might as well get your uh, get your money's worth and get uh, get that two for one, get two games. That was last touched by St. Stevens, and now Houston Christian's got to go quickly. So we've played almost all of this game. We're down to the final two or so minutes. Rolling into the box, scooped up. Myers got to turn this around quickly. Mustangs couldn't connect on that pass. St. Stephen's not going to be in a hurry to take this. Can play the possession game. Oh, mistouched. They're going to play this all the way back. Fellner going laterally with it. They fully extended the Houston Christian defense, but they've got to get it out of this zone now. Fight for the ball. Officials letting them play. McDaniel couldn't get a touch on the end of that pass. Fellner sends it away. Back towards midfield. Rolling all the way towards the sideline. Kept in by Houston Christian. And there's the final whistle. St. Stephen's has just handed Houston Christian their first loss in league play. An impressive 4-2 victory for the St. Stephen's Spartans as they defend home field this evening. Starting off today's doubleheader, the boys game coming up in about 20 minutes. It was 2-2 at halftime. and give a ton of credit to the goalkeeper, Nora Fellner. She gets mobbed by her teammates in celebration of a great, uh, particularly in the second half, but then, really, the uh, the player of the game, uh, Kaveri Cordero, those two second-half big, big goals. And that was the difference in a very hard-fought, very fun, very competitive game. Final score, St. Stephen's 4, Houston Christian 2. We will keep the stream up for a few minutes. I should say we'll keep the, the scoreboard up as it is for a few minutes, and we'll keep the stream up the whole time. Boys game coming up in just a little bit. You're watching SPC Soccer on Vipe Live. 